Quinton Rumbold's homelessness is hidden behind the walls of this hotel. I've never had to live anything like this. From what I can gather on classifieds, you're looking at $1,000 for a one bedroom, plus pay your own utilities, and that's the cheapest you're gonna find anything. Rumbold has been staying here since June, waiting on a call for a housing unit. He estimates there are 30 others here in the same boat, the majority of them seniors. In a year, the provincial government has spent over $200,000 at Hotel Cornerbrook. The money doesn't just go here, but in every corner of the province, from cities to tiny communities, hotels and for-profit shelter operators. For a total of over $5.2 million. By comparison, just a handful of shelters and one hotel was used before the pandemic, all in St. John's. It's not easy. Um, you don't have any cooked meals. Um, we get $75 a week for groceries, which doesn't last a week. And uh, we have to call in each week to get an extension to stay there for the next week. There's no kitchen, no microwave, and Rumbold says no other choice. He says his attempts to get out of homelessness and get employment are hampered by corporation policies because he spends much of his time on the phone, asking for extensions and looking for a permanent place to stay. Not one person has been given a, a place to live since I've been here in four months. Just more people keep getting packed in every week. So whatever's happening is happening somewhere else in the province. It's not happening on the West Coast. In St. John's, Carrie Lynn Stanley would like a hotel room. It's hard. People look at you like you're nothing. Just down Water Street is where Stanley and her partner have been living. Tarps, rocks and blankets make up her home on the back of a former fine dining restaurant. Uh, I've been on it a year, less than over a year. They said as soon as this back comes available, they're going to let me know. But every time I call, like they're telling me to do, oh, we're still waiting. Frustration mounts as vacant housing units sit longer. According to numbers from the Housing Corporation, there were 802 corporation-owned rental units in Cornerbrook this March. Of those units, 53 were listed as vacant and unavailable to rent. Actually do something. Stop spending money on telling us what you're doing. We don't need a billboard put up every junction of every little development. Spend money where it needs to go. Newfoundland and Labrador Housing says it's doing just that. Paul Pike is the minister responsible for housing. We were told he was unavailable for an interview and didn't take reporters questions after a housing related news conference yesterday. But in a statement, the Housing Corporation says the entire country is grappling with this crisis. It says that it's building new homes, opening up shelter beds and is incentivizing the private market to build affordable rental properties. Arianna Kelland, CBC News, St. John's.